Hey, I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 2020, episode number 24. At 42 and 29, we've guaranteed a plus 500 season. We still have some time to go. And plus 13 on the win chart certainly helps us, but it's not going to put us at one of the higher seeds, at least not yet. Uh, so with that, we need to get on with the program, do what we can. Uh, Willie Colley Stein, the only player injured right now, has back spasms. Just one day left on his injury, so he should be returning shortly. Let's go ahead and start making that push. We're going to push one whole week here. Uh, I'd like to see, if possible, like wrap up the regular season inside of this episode. Went against Charlotte, Fox, Bagley, both with 22, Walker with 25. Next up are the Jazz. Uh, we have this one at home. Do have an inbox item though. Harrison Barnes. I uh, hate getting this all the time because if I downplay, it's going to make them sad. No comment. Neutral. Let's keep it at no comment. <laughs> Effort decreases anyway. Okay. Uh, interesting. So if I give them support, morale goes up and thing else goes down. There we go. We get the win at home against Utah. That's an important one. As you can see, we are quite close. Fox with 33 points in that game. I have grabbed the uh, the mod with all the regular, uh, the actual team logo, so we have those now as well. And as a conference, it is the Hawks well clear of the Celtics. Wow, 55 and 18, uh, far ahead of anybody else. Celtics actually have a pretty good lead themselves over the Knicks, and then you have teams that are behind. We would be three seed in the East currently. 76ers, Pacers, Wizards, Nets, and Magic with awful records in the playoffs. Meanwhile, the Clippers, 50 and 24. But we have quite the tight contest in the West. The Lakers, Pelicans, the Blazers, myself, level with the Suns, currently for a five-seed potential matchup with our Northwest rivals, the Rockets and the Warriors. The Jazz on the same record as the Warriors. And then the Spurs just out of it. The Grizzlies uh, would be dominating in the East right now. And even the Nuggets, I think, would be in the playoffs. Really only one team struggling in the West, and that's the Thunder. Well, a bunch of playoff teams are struggling in the east 33 and 41 where's 33 and 41 one game ahead of the mavericks and that's for the seventh seed so yes the nuggets would be the seventh seed in the east right now Rosen. I think that was strained knee or something along those lines. Uh, big matchup against Cavs. This is a must win game this late in the season at home against an East Coast team that's not playing well. It's only won eight games and we do comfortably. 110 84 Walker with 29 points, five assists. Barnes having a good game. I think the backup's got a lot of minutes in this one. Here's another, oh, sorry, that's Blazers. Gosh, I, I do that. I do that uh, a little too often. All right, everybody's healthy now. Mood's good, up and down the team. I do have four upcoming free agents. And I'm looking at that. Uh, Bull Bull, I would very much like to hang on to. Marvin Bagley, I'd very much like to hang on to. And I'll worry less about the others uh, currently. Uh, green 
probably going to let go. 35. Uh, Swan again, just one and a half stars. I'll probably use the draft to replace him. But Bagley and Bull Bull. Uh, those are deals I'd like to get hammered out. Now, we're already way over cap, so I'm not worried about what we end up paying Bagley. I'm not going to risk losing him. Yeah, things are good. Let's, uh, let's go into contracts for a moment. And let's see what we could do about offering an extension to Bagley. Now let's let's try to take care of this. I know he's making 11. And it's going to be a lot more than 11. I would imagine we could probably get him for 20 to 25 a season. I don't see why it would go much higher than that. I mean, is he even in the starting lineup right now? Oh, he is. He's playing power forward. And it's Barnes that's playing down. So, yeah. Uh, could be more. Yeah, he wants 26. Well, I said 20 to 25. Let's see if we can get him. Uh, we'll try 22-7. Uh, and let's add some links to this thing. Can't offer that many years on an extension, why not? Oh, shoot, he countered and I didn't even see it. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna go. Not a bad start, there we go, yeah. Let's stay on the four years. This is close to what he's asking, but it's one more year. Mood is fair. Uh, let's let's give him the like twenty five even. Go above what he's asking, but with the extra year. And he accepts. So just above what he wanted, but a year more than he wanted. I wanted the year. He's definitely in my long-term plans. I said 20 to 25. I mean, even Barnes is at 22 and 23 for the next two years. So here you go, 25, 26, 28, 29.5. Oh, we'll take a look at Bull Bull. I definitely want to keep Bull Bull around as well again. Not worried about the uh, the money at this point. I mean, money wise, next year it's going up, but that's that's the game this team is playing at this point. We're building a core. Uh, it's going to be trades and the draft that bring in the players. We are not going into the free agency market anytime soon, outside of uh, trade uh, the exceptions using the like mid level exception. Uh, if we have a vacancy to bring in a player that way, that's the only way I'm hitting the uh, free agency market anytime soon. So the big deal is done. Let's push this calendar forward a little bit. Oh, one point lost to Milwaukee. Milwaukee's not doing well, even though they've got Giannis. And Lopez still, I don't know if they had injuries or what the heck is going on with that team, why they're struggling, but we win a tough one on the road at Golden State. Walker, not a big scoring day, but he had a, a big creative day in that one. I think he had seven assists, multiple steals. Really big day on the calendar here, April 1st now. Uh, double inbox, though. Let's see the messages. Field's been bad. Uh, let's encourage. And Walker. Praise. Yeah, effort goes down. Wow, wow, wow. Drives me nuts. Okay, 
a little further into the calendar. How are we looking now? Ox all but wrapped up. Magic all but stunk up, but still in the playoffs. Clippers, two games clear. The Lakers, two and a half. Pelicans, Blazers are at three. That is so close. One game separating second through fourth. And we are level with the Suns still. Rockets and Jazz are five games behind, so I'm very much looking at, well, a two to six seed. More likely the five or six, if we're being honest. Six to play. Got the Clippers next. That is a tough game. We'll box score this one. See, oh, tight victory. Fox with 30 points, nine assists, seven rebounds, four steals. Aaron Fox stepping up in a massive way in that game. Let's go back and where is my box score? Box score. There it is. Bagley, eight for 12, 20 points. Like in his new contract. Not in the I'm lazy now that you're going to pay me sort of way. Uh, Barnes and Cully Stein only contributing uh, somewhat. But Fox, yeah, Fox. 10 for 21. So it's not like he had an amazing shooting day. He was 2 for 10 beyond the arc. 7 rebounds, 9 assists, 4 steals. And five turnovers and four fouls. That's actually not a great game. A minus four. Yeah, he had 30 points. But Fox, <laughs> the initial stat sheet looked really good. But you break down the box score. I, he got to the line a lot, though. Eight for ten from the line. And that certainly does what it needs to do. It was enough. We won. Uh, we won by two. And we won the fourth quarter by four. And we won the third quarter by eight. We won the second quarter by six points. We got below out in the first. It was 27-11 at the end of the first, so great comeback. Green, 15 minutes off the bench. Beasley, Bull Bull, healed all, putting in big numbers, and Bledsoe. So really, first unit, second unit. 11 points for uh, healed off the bench. That really helps having his scoring in that second unit. Uh, Bull Bull... It, it looks like my second unit it was the real difference. That depth that I've been slowly building in this squad is getting so much better. Obviously, that small forward position is still a massive weakness for me. But outside of the small forward, first and second unit, I'm getting deeper and deeper. I just I've got to find a way to fill those two voids. First, second unit, small forward. If I can fill those two voids with the eight players that I have core otherwise, I think we could be a real threat going forward. But yeah, second unit, really good plus minus ratio for that group. So when they came on, their hustle, their effort really made up for what looks like not a great head to head first unit. I mean, we led by 8 at one point, but they led by 21 points. We trailed by 21 points and somehow won that game. Big push towards the playoffs on that. Nobody plays today. All right, here we go, April 3rd. Everybody's up again. We're on the road. Uh, we've played 37 on the road, so we still have four games on the road out of our final five. That, I think, really hurts our chances of getting a higher seed. I think we're really looking at that five or six seed at this point uh, with four out of five games on the road to wrap up the season. Two Wolves are certainly beatable. They're 21 and 18 at home, though, so we have similar home away records. Meaning, I've got a decent chance in this game. But we came out <laughs> way, way down. Bull, bull. 12 points, 8 boards for him. Nice, nice showing, but 
Yeah. I say this is going to be a tough little stretch, I think. But for another day. Cavs. Similar kind of matchup. Cavs aren't good, but they're 50 50 at home. Oh, if we lost that last one and lost pretty bad, I think we should be playing better today. That doesn't mean we're going to win. Road is road. We do get the win, though. Fox. Bull Bull again. Uh, do we, did we take an injury? Bull Bull had big numbers the last two games. Is Kali Stein down here with just uh, a few games to go in the season? If he was, he's fine now. Meanwhile, uh, Bull Bull, uh, I think it's time to uh, go to the contracts and offer him as well. I think he's developing really well and a great number two. I would imagine he's not going to be seeing a big payday. Okay, no extension possible. What's what is his status on his contract? So I need one year tender offer worth da 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 da. Relationship's good. I, I don't know why he's not showing up. Uh, later then. Later. Okay, we check in. How's it looking now? 6th of April. It's very nearly. Hawks, of course, already wrapped up the uh, Eastern Conference a while ago. But for me, it's the West that matters. Positionally, things have changed a little bit. Clippers, Lakers just a half game behind. Of course, we had that win against the Clippers just the other day. Blazers are two back. Pelicans, two and a half. That one loss drops them to the four seed right now. We sit in the five seed, one game ahead of the Suns, but we're two and a half behind the Pelicans. With three to play for me, four to play for them. So we can cover three and a half gaps, but or three and a half games, but with a gap of two and a half, that just seems unlikely. I doubt the Pelicans are gonna lose four straight. And with two of three on the road, I doubt that I'm gonna win all three. And even if I do, like I said, I doubt that we're gonna get that full swing. Seems unlikely. Uh, so right now it's more about staying ahead of the Suns. The Suns just 5-5 five five over the last 10. They've lost two straight. We had slipped a game behind them, but we're back to a game clear. Uh, Rockets too far back. The Warriors are out of the playoffs at this point. Day off. Pelicans play at the Clippers. That, and they're not a very good road team. That could help us. Gives us a little chance. Uh, Warriors at Spurs. That's going to be a tough one. Rockets at Pacers. Tough one for them. Blazers at Lakers. Again, another tough a lot of tough road games here. Thompson was just injured too. That hurts Golden State. Let's go ahead and push back a day and see what those results were. Houston lost to Indiana. Uh, Portland lost to LA. New Orleans winning against the Clippers. There you go. That's that's done. Dusted. They're fine. We're not going to catch them. Uh, Golden State lost to San Antonio. 
and Lost Thompson. If he's still with Golden State anyway. I think he is. Alright. On a day, we, oh, we get the Pelicans. Seriously. Three to play, three games behind. We could make that two with two to go. And this is that one home game left in the season. And there's the the Suns. They get the Thunder. They they get the one lousy team at home. So this becomes a pretty big game for us, not for moving up, but for keeping the Suns behind. It's our last home game of the season. We really needed that one. Fox gets 33 points, but we lose by three. And now we've got to go on the road to the Clippers, so we got to play them again. We just beat them a week ago, but we've got to play them a second time in a week. I think it was our last home game before the one we just played, but we get a back-to-back -back down in L.A. Suns lost, though. The Thunder beat the Suns, so we stay one game ahead. That helps. That doesn't help. 48-33 now. I miss out on a 50-win season. Half game ahead of the Suns. And now they get the Pelicans. I didn't see it as it flashed by. Uh, the Pelicans just beat the Suns, so that keeps me one game ahead. The final game of the regular season. Another tough, tough matchup for me. This is a, a really uh, tough end of the season. So here we go. Playoff picture. Bucks are out, so there's your eight teams. Uh, seven, eight seeds still undecided. The Lakers have caught and passed the Clippers. They're a half game ahead. They have two to play. Clippers just one to play. And they lost the one seed. The Pelicans winning some tough games here uh, at home. <laughs> Actually, no, they win some tough games on the road, haven't they? They've been some road games. Yeah, the Pelicans weren't a great road team, but they're up to 20 and 21 now. That last game will be a home game, though. And they actually have a chance to uh, catch the Clippers. Blazers locked into the four seed. Not going up, not going down. Uh, I think I'm locked into the 5 seed because I believe I have the tie break over the Suns. I think. I'd rather still win that last game just to be sure. But that would mean a first round matchup with the Blazers who are three games ahead of us. And I think I've had a hard time with the Blazers this season. I think 1-3, and three, something like that. Head to head. Rockets and Jazz are in. Jazz and Grizzlies, just a half game separating them. Uh, Jazz have two to play. The Warriors aren't out of it yet either, technically. Just about, though. They have to win that last game. The Jazz have to lose both, and then they'll need help with the Grizzlies, and then they have to have the tiebreaker over either of them. Spurs are out, though. 41 losses is too many. 40 is the minimum. Or the maximum. Still a very tight Western Conference. A couple days left in the season. And we wrap up last game with the Jazz. Not a must win. I think we've got that tiebreaker. But I just, I would rather it not come to that. 
and it's going to have to come to that. 48-34 is how we finished the regular season. Bledsoe, Colley Stein, the big numbers, I think. Uh, the coaching staff decided to rest these guys. Oh, it's the Lakers? Okay, come on, sons. I mean, come on, Lakers. Oh, I can't say it. I can't. I can't say it. I, I just can't. Suns, take the win. Take the win. I'll, I'll, I'll take that tiebreaker. Or I'll take the sixth seed. I saw the Lakers had 115. I did not see what the Suns have. 115 is usually enough to get the job done. Usually. It was. 115-107, I think, was the score line. Saw it down there for a moment. Playoffs ready to kick off. Nets, Hawks, Magic, Celtics, Wizards, 76ers, Pacers, Knicks. Let's go back. I can check those standings. Conference. Yeah, Hawks, 63 and 19 on the season. Pretty good year. Very good year, I should say, especially for the Hawks. Celtics, 76ers. Knicks in the four seed. Definitely not where they were earlier in the season. Still, four seed, not bad. Pacers, Wizards, all below 500. Magic and the Nets, who were a one seed last year. 37 and 45, and they still make the playoffs somehow. 13 and 20. All four of these guys, 13 and 28 on the road. And they're all going to be on the, at these teams, all 30 plus wins at home. You can see exactly how that first round's going to go. Lakers do take the one seed. The Pelicans jump the Clippers. So the Clippers, on the final few days of the season, go from the one seed, best record in the West, to a three seed. Blazers do claim the fourth. I do claim the fifth. The Suns lost, so they are the sixth seed. Rockets and Jazz. Eh, five seed, not bad. No home court advantage. I go five and five to wrap up the season, but so do the Blazers. Clippers were four and six. Uh, pretty much everybody outside of the Lakers and Pelicans in the playoffs struggling down the stretch. 44 and 38 ended up the cutoff. Grizzlies at 42 and 40. Would have been a comfortable five seed. Missed the playoffs. Same with the Warriors at 41 41. Spurs 40 and 20. Would have been equal on five seed, depending on tiebreakers. Could have been the five seed. And they were 11th in the West. Even the, the Thunder 24 and 58. Uh, it's still the worst record, but barely. T-Wolves, 34-48. Would have been the first team out. So, uh, outside of the Thunder, the entire seven-team group that are in the lottery in the East are worse than everybody except the Thunder in the West that made the lottery. That's... That's... What we've seen for, for the last, what, two decades almost? But that might be worse than I've ever seen it. All right, well, we're in the playoffs, and this is where I wanted to get. Let's go ahead and do day one of the playoffs. Next beating the Pacers. Let's roll it back a day here. Hawks beating the Nets, only just. Boston beating Orlando. Washington upsetting the 76ers. So one upset in the East. I don't expect many of them. I think uh, just about all of those series will be over in probably five games or so. Uh, Irving had 52 points. Collins had 45 on the day. Trey Young had 20 assists for the Hawks. Holy cow. Uh, Sabonis with 18 rebounds. And I would have loved to have seen him uh, come to Portland. That's his dad. 
is uh, laser mm-hmm. legend. At least icon, anyway. Maybe not quite legend. Irving with uh, three steals. Robinson, five blocks. Barrett, four blocks. Trey Young throwing up more stats. Three blocks as well. Big day for Young. I'm assuming this is uh, congratulations you made the playoffs. Nah, let's let's talk about the draft. Solid overall. Flashes of brilliance. David Hale. Well, making the playoffs, obviously I'm not going to have a very good draft position. Let's uh, wrap things up with a little league leaders glance here. James Harden, 35 a game for Houston, but of course Houston barely makes the playoffs. I'd rather have my team as a one seed than have a player leading the league in scoring. Walker, second best. Doncic also uh, Davis all above 30 points a game Lillard 28 a game Curry there's Trey Young there's Irving with his big scoring day I don't have anyone in the top 20 but Darren Fox is 24th 21.6 game and Jake Walker is 28th It's nice to have the uh, have that. Uh, what do you call it? Have two guys up there like that. Sis Fox is sixth. Trey Young leading the way. He seems to be having a monster year. Davis thirteen, almost in a half rebounds game. Towns just below him. I don't have anyone on this list. Oh, Collie Stein and Bagley both eight a game. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I like this two guys per thing, other than the assist part. Bagley just over one block a game. I'd like to see us up this list away. Fox is fourteenth, two two steals a game. That's pretty good. There's Walker, 1.8. Again, two players up the list. Oh, field goal attempts. Yeah, that nah, doesn't surprise me. Fox and Walker, almost dead even. Fox shooting a little better than Walker at this point. Capella, best field goal percentage in the league. Colley Stein, that's solid, 12th place. I like that, that's efficient. And that's what he needs to be, as he's not a top scorer for us. Bagley, I'd like to see him a little higher up the list. Still not bad, though. Let's go straight to made three-pointer Steph Curry. Makes the most per game. Walker at 11. There's part of the reason why his field goal percentage is a little bit lower. It's a lot of made threes. Percentage-wise, though, this is big. Buddy healed. Nice. Second unit really helping with the score in there. Fifth in the league. Free throw percentage. The 90-plus club, just five walkers. Walker is only a few spots out of that, 89.4%. We go player efficiency, Anthony Davis, Doncic, Young, Towns, Kawhi, whatever, uh, Fox, twenty fourth, Bagley, Walker, in the top fifty, three players in the top fifty, Collie Stein, sixty sixth. And there, there's your four. There's your solid four. Harrison Barnes, way down the list. Should be a backup. Really should, it shows. 
because he's got backup kind of numbers. There's Bledsoe. There's Buddy Heald, who's only a 10.2 on efficiency. Might give us that scoring in the second unit that we need, but otherwise, there's Bull Bull, but he spent most of the season not even playing. Double doubles. Carl Anthony Towns, 67. Trey Young, a point guard, was 65. Triple doubles. Sabrina Udescu with eight. Oh, she's not on the list. By the way, Sabrina Udescu. If you've never seen her play, man, oh man, she is a fantastic talent. Uh, if she stays healthy, she'll be in the Hall of Fame. Right now, she's finishing up her senior year at U of O. She's already a two-time player of the year. She's on her way to her third. And she's had more triple doubles in college than any athlete, male or female, by far. She's had eight triple doubles in each of the last two seasons. And she's not a Russell Westbrook type player. Selfish, just cares about the numbers. She plays team first basketball. Always has. Outstanding player. And people argue that she might not even be the best player on the Ducks right now, which is awesome. I, I, I hope they win championship. They have they have yet to win one. Uh, the men's team won the first NCAA tournament, the very first, back in 62 or 64, something like that. The very first. They haven't won one since. But they've been good the last, you know, off and on throughout the last decade. And finally, the women's program, that was always at the bottom, bottom of the back then Pac-10 conference. Pac-8 before that. Finally, finally step it up and becoming a really big program just, just really in the last four years. Her four years there. All right. Well, anyway, that's where we stand. That's where it's at. We're in the playoffs. We're up against the Blazers. It's going to be a tough matchup for us. Let's look at those 51 and 31 Blazers for a second who won the division. Chile is out injured and Kevin Hammond, but those guys are not uh, contributing factors. So they've got Lillard at four stars. 31 years of age here in game. McCollum, just three stars. you got to be kidding me. He is much better than that. You could argue whether he's a three and a half or a four star talent, but there's no way he's less than a high three and a half star talent. James Rowe, second year player that they drafted in. He's got to be their starter. They got Rudy Gay. Wow. Still two and a half stars at 35. Thaddeus Young, two and a half stars at 33. Nurkic, three to, yeah, sorry. Nurkic at three and a half stars and McCollum at three stars. Nurkic is a good player. McCollum is a much better player than Nurkic. Though Nurkic can develop. So I could see him growing to a three and a half star, and I think that's a good evaluation. I just dumbfounded by that. Whiteside, I could see it as a three star guy, especially at 32. Collins, though, come on now, game. Come on. Where's the development? Where's the development? Good talent. Dwight Howard playing for the Blazers at 36. One and a half stars. Holy cow. The mighty have fallen. They've got a 56% chance of beating us. We are on the road. They are very much Lillard's team. But Nurkic is getting 19 a game. Will be easy. Fox is going to have his hands full. That's going to do it for this episode. Get the playoffs started on the next one. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.